Hello everyone and welcome back to Thank You to Play Sons of Fourth and Kazakh Mod. We are back in the Italian National Republic. Last episode there was the Renetian Revolt, and we dealt with that as well as fighting over in the Balkans and fighting in Spain. Looks like the Kingdom of Spain, which we were supporting, is not gonna win the war there. But it looks like Romania that we were supporting is going to win against Bulgaria, and that's nice. Now as for us, I see a golden opportunity. Austria is currently at war with Hungary. And they are probably not going to win that war within the next, like, month or so. And we have the opportunity to attack them as soon as the war with the Venetians is over. It takes 25 days. And I think that uh, Italo Bobo being a decisive anti-Austrian would want to do that. I don't think we have any Austrian things here. I would like to do that. So, what we're going to do. We got the navies back. But we're not going to do anything with them because the Austrian Navy is significantly better than ours. We're going to have, I'm going to say, four armies. I want one army just to take Trentino. I want one army to go from here and cut off all this area. Innsbruck, all the uh, Tyrol, all of Tyrol by going boop boop. And I want one army to take Trieste and another army to go around Trieste to Ljubljana. So I think that'll take four armies. Let's say three divisions here, and another man. Let's say two mountain divisions here, and we'll do it like this. Boom, 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 boom. You will take Trentino. Mm, yes, you'll take Trentino. But that's effectively all you'll do. You'll just take Trentino. You will be the force that takes Trieste. I think you can do two provinces into Trieste. Three divisions all stacked on top of each other take Trieste. We'll take this division, also part of Red Force, be the ones to rush over to Salzburg. They can have another Mountain General. And then over here, you, in the province of Udini, will take to Ljubljana. Under, these are mountain troops. Maybe we should have a mountaineer general. Under this guy who kind of looks like Stalin. I'll, I'll give it to them. And then, uh, we're going to put these guys off and just have them fly over there. I want to save up as much as we can. Don't have anything to be able to purchase any fuel. Can't buy any fuel, so we'll just let it go. Nicaragua has declared war on Honduras. Okay. Seems fine to me. And then I guess we just let it go. Eventually, we'll be able to get into the... Yeah, there it is. I was wondering if I was going to do that. Submit demands. Confirm and exit. Oh, I got some equipment. Nice. Well, in that case, I'm going to make sure that my boys are stacked up with that equipment one from the Venetians. We only have two divisions right now, so we'll just put them in there. I think we had, what, 4,000 in total now? Yeah, weapons won from the Venetians, 4.4 thousand. That'll be perfectly fine. Might be stacking too many troops over on this side. Oh, I need to do it. Venice, attack the Austrians, 25 days. Now, Hungary just needs to hold out for 25 days. Hopefully they can do that. A letter of congratulations from Romania for our swift victory. How lovely. I guess they appreciate the fact that we came and took them over and helped them. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. 18 days. Hungary. Rising sun. Not my problem. Hungary is not going to win their war. It's just not going to win their war. But that's not my concern. My concern is snipping off, specifically Trieste, which is our core, and Trentino. Those are our only core provinces. We have other provinces, but we don't have any claims on them right now. I think just a quick little invasion, take over some border provinces. I know, I know that there's the ability to early peace. Because if we don't early peace now, we'll have to fight them later. And then they'll probably join up with Germany and then we'll be in the Valkyrie. I don't want to be in the Valkyrie too early. I got some spin drift. Tastes not great, but you know... Ah, uh, that's, that's life, ain't it? This is my infantry tech. 
What about... Yeah, what about that? In case we do accidentally end up in a long war with... With the... Austrians. They still haven't taken Budapest. Dublin, though, has fallen. Ooh. Okay. Ireland's capitulated. Don't capitulate. Okay, seven days. Six days. Ubra is finished. Nice. How about in here? You're... You're okay. I'll have them go out convoy raiding under some guy. How about this guy? I'll keep the destroyers home. I don't think the destroyers are going to do much. Let's make sure everyone's got their goals. Let's put up my planes in case... There's one division out here. There's one division so far. Six days, five days. Four, three... Mm, two... Call Gibraltar. Oh, that's going to mean that Kingdom of Spain's done. Yep. Kingdom of Spain's done. Corporatist state for a little bit of stability. And then... Boom. Attack. Alright, so... Oh, hey, this is the thing we're talking about. We can claim other provinces, but... Uh, they're about to end their war with Hungary. And then they'll bring the whole might of the empire on us. Uh, this is just going to be a quick war. Just get the provinces we can and run like hell that's our plan i don't know why you guys aren't moving boom boom you can go to innsbruck you go that way you threw them you're all going trieste lovely the attack on trieste is going to work at least here the first combat of the war is mountain provinces against our better troops oh they brought in some troops Though they have low standing. Good. Pick them out real quick. Hey, 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 hey. We got Trieste. Trieste is ours. You to Ljubljana. You to Rejecki. You help out those mountain troops. You to Pola, then to... Oh, wait. That... Uh, Illyria is not in the war yet, so they're not a part of this. You that way, you that way up to Bergens. We'll take Innsbruck all the way up to the German border. Corporate Alliance. Let's go ahead and get Loyal Military real quick for some extra bonuses. Yeah, okay. Lyria is in the war. To Rejeki or Fiumi, as the Italians call it. Ljubljana has been taken. We've, put, we've taken over that division. Nice. You go that way to Klagenfurt. Dick and Rejeka, it's probably a good defensive position there. Now my lines are kind of doubling up. Speaking of which, all troops just join up there onto the Salzburg area. Go that way, that way. Doing pretty well for ourselves, I'd, I'd say, I'd say. You, we haven't, haven't been able to kill that unit, but it's fine. Oh, Serbia and Bulgaria have entered their peace. Nice. Oh, we got that new research slot. Um, 75% off, but it's still a while away. What do I want you to be? Because that's... Maybe just another army slot. Another army slot. We got... We, oh, yeah, we started tank design. I kind of want a better tank gun. Like a proper anti-tank gun. Green Shirts Brigade. The Green Shirts founded during the Civil War were formerly the Militia Voluntari de la Securiza Nacional, or the MBSN for short, the most difficult in a formal name due to their distinctive green shirts. The green shirts are organized in a military fashion, modeled after the RTT, which are used extends to their uniforms. While they are been the muscle of the ANI up to this point, we are sure they'll step up to defend the nation's republic. Nice. We'll just put them here on... I would say defend Venice, defend Trieste. Yeah, just do that. Defend Venice and Trieste. Those are the two places we're actually planning on keeping in this war. Here you're about to take Bergens, and then you'll wrap back around. We've taken all the way to Salzburg. That's an important Austrian city that we just took. Mm, you are moving towards Marabor. I guess we could move on to Zagreb. They haven't taken... Maybe we could go all the way to... Could we? Nobody else is coming after us. I kind of just want to hold on to what we already have. They propose a peace. 
the Austrians are on the run. They clearly realize they stand no chance against our forces with questions before us and how we far we push our demands. Push too far or refuse to make peace at all, the German Empire might decide to intervene on behalf of their old ally, defy them, and we could end up at war with the entire on Reich's pact. That is, of course, if the Germans agree to intervene at all. <laughs> well, if we want to push all the way, we get uh, the Socialist Italians able to join the Third International. Not good, because then when we fight them, we'll be fighting the entire International. And we might end up fighting against the German Empire. Not good. Push all of our claims and have the German Empire intervene for the peace talks, or keep the lands that we've already held and get some political power. I have no reason to suspect that the Germans are going to side with us. I don't think that in a long war, because look, they're at the, they've cut off Budapest. Hungary's not going to last. That distraction over there is not going to last any longer. Um, because we can go farther, but I I can't do a long war with Austria. I just wanted to take some border provinces. Even if we try to get Germany's help, they're not going to help us. They are not our friends. So we'll just take our lands back. Well, let's take our lands back. We, that's all we wanted. We wanted a quick and easy war. Only a couple men dead. Probably more died of attrition than died of uh, actual fighting. Managed to take over Trieste, which is very important because look at all those dockyards. <laughs> we can actually make a navy now. And Trieste, which has some people. These are both poor territories. It's all good. Let's put the uh, armies back together. Everybody hold. Everybody hold. Don't need to go off into the, our little adventure anymore. Let's see. That took. That didn't take very long. But now what to do with all my armies? I think some of them are too much for their own good. Like three armies at maximum might be necessary. I don't think a border with the Austrians seems to be defended at all. Now it's all about the border with the southern Italians. Or I guess central Italians. <laughs> Look at that. So we got peace. We got a little bit of land. We got Trieste. We got the ability to possibly attack the Austrians in the future. I think that was a pretty good war. How about we have one army here with the battle plan to strike towards Turin. We have one army to keep the border there and one army to keep the border here next to Parada. I think that'll do fine. You you could use a general. Uh, Enrico Radecki. I don't know any of these people. I have no idea if any of them were in real life fascists. I guess it's this guy. He has a cool hat at least. He can be in charge of the green shirts. Go ahead. And yeah, now I need to know what to do with my... Well, with all those dockyards I just built. I have been producing convoys. The convoys seem to be up. What about... I don't know. Hmm. You guys, you're doing fine. Doing the Lord's work. Don't need you on anything. Go back home. In the base. You are not going to be doing anything. Go back home. Let's see. I have... I have five months Mo Mosinigo class submarines, which are not very good, all things considered. I have these submarines and I have these submarines. What are you? Barbico? So okay. We got the Barbico class, the Morosino class, and then the month Oh. Morosini and then the Mosinigi. And then on top of that, there is this Dandolo class, which hasn't been built yet. It's kind of rocking weak weapons, though. How about I uh, improve their weaponry and maybe improve their... Ah, I don't have any points. Ooh, okay. I'll make five Dandolo classes, then. And... Hmm, that's interesting that none of them are named actually Dandolo. Hmm, the actual Dandolo must be somewhere else. 
because these do not start there. What about, I guess I'll name you the Glauco class or the Pietro Calvi class. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. Because they're not actually Dandolo, unless I rename one Dandolo. That's the uh, that's the Doge of Venice, I believe. It make it would make sense for our navy, which are mostly out of Venice, to have one named after the Doge of Venice. So we'll rename this one into Dandolo. Ares Mg Dandolo. Hmm? Names will exceed the number of ships in production queue. Uh, what do you mean? Not already in here, is it? Huh. That's not an option? Part? No. Oh. oh wow. I just I just can't give him another name? Oh no, these are name I don't get it. I guess I can't name it Dandolo. Hmm. Well I guess I'll name rename the class. Sad. The Glauca class. Glau... Glauco... Glauco class. Great name. Boom, there are the Glaucos. They'll all come out by the end of the year. And what else could I use with my time? I could start the production of some of these Marco Polo classes. Hmm. Historical battleships. Marco Polo is not in there. Weird. Weather. Historical battle cruisers. Christopher Colombo. Mm -hmm. Cities, regions, mythology. I could do that. Or I could build cruisers. I could build an improved cruiser. A Milano class cruiser. It's like a it's like a ship. I have just a whole bunch of shitty destroyers. But I guess I can build a cruiser. Italia class, French Creek cruiser, it's a heavy cruiser. The Milano class is a light cruiser with no armor, no secondaries. It's a fast boy though. I I like I like it. The Milano, but it's come out as the Stromboli. Come on, let me name it the Milano. It's called it, let me name it. San Marco. Ah! Let me name it. All right. Milano. Yeah, it did. Okay, it did let me. Not Strombolo, it's the Milano. This will come out in 1940 at the moment. I'll build one of them. I'll build one at my current capacity of shipbuilding. I'll build one and that'll just be it. All right, let's go. I should maybe have some forces behind. I've already used up all of my artillery. No, I have not used all of my weapons one, which is good. I kind of want to turn my green shirts into like a proper fighting division. The CCB, okay. 18th of August to 28th of October. <laughs> hmm. Diamante de Resorgimento. I kind of like that, but at the moment they're so weak. I just can't bring myself to do it. But we'll just continue on. I'm still building up. I'm not building up my military yet. I kind of like the way my borders look now. I got Trentino and Trieste. Hungary. Fatherland Front has taken over. Well, that probably means that they're going to want to fight this. Oh, oh no, wait. It's not the Fatherland Front. It is the Socialists. Are the Socialists the Fatherland Front? Hmm. Surprising. French Republic has declared one Niger. We got these. The Rebellion. Oh, we got my operative! That's right, I built them. Bold versus Linguist. I don't need people to speak Italian. All my enemies are Italian. Let's go ahead and not do any actions there, because I don't want to spend the money. I want to build up my construction still. Yeah, Loyal Military. Ooh, I got a lot of points. What about... Yes, yeah, I, I, there's something in here. Italian Liberation. 
Roman Party Napa, yes. Own Sorrentino, Own Trieste, yes. Less than 5% surrender, yes. Bad Italian Liberation Call, which grants recruitable population plus 3%, force support plus 10%, replace. Limited conscription with extensive conscription. And replace early mobilization with partial. Interesting. I can get a free partial mobilization. Can I get. I can't get war economy yet because I'm not at war. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to instead get something else. Something like more infantry, elusive gentlemen. Mixed economy for 5% production, factory output, or 10% efficiency retention and efficiency cap. 5% cap retention is when you change efficiency cap up. I kind of like the mixed economy, man. Especially since we went for the... Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Efficiency repents uh, cap of 5%. Machine tools, that guy, base cap. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. The fall of Barcelona. Carlos Spain has won. They will join the Entente. And they will have... Uh, that'll mean that the French will be split between two forces. I might be able to invade to try and take Nice and... Savoy and Upper Savoy. Try to retake those territories stolen from the Italian people. At this rate, I definitely need. This is my naval tab. I'm doing a lot of things with dis... with crews, with submarines, but I don't really need a lot of submarines. What about either anti submarine warfare or naval support? We got that. Better submarines. I don't want to use my 75 yet. Unless I'm using it on that specifically. So I'll just get that out of the way using my naval tab. In here, I definitely want to do synthetic refinery in Lombardy. I want to do some military factories. Now's the build up period. Now's the time to build up. Let's see, green shirt division. Allow foreign equipment off. Everybody, foreign equipment off, please. That was just for the war. Go back to having not that. I might make some infantry divisions that are exclusively with the uh, Venetian one. Italian liberation. I love it. The day of Italian unification is quickly dawning. We must fully prepare to liberate the rest of the peninsula whenever the opportunity arises. Indeed. And we got another 150 points out of that. I do kind of like the idea of getting that uh, elusive gentleman, but at the moment I'm thinking maybe military construction speed. I am building things up very quickly. 15%, ooh, civilian versus, I kind of want this one. I want to spend my time doing that. Why are you all in here? I need you guys to look after Trieste. The first and second will go and look after Venice. You will look after Trieste. It'll be all good. Maybe I can have one look after Milan, come to think of it. The first division can go and look after Milan. The doctrine's available. Oh wow, we got a lot of army experience. Oh my god, we do. Uh, victory or death, aggressive reconnaissance for infiltration assaults, flexible organization, static warfare, better entrenchments, elastic fire, overwhelming fire, reserve officers, flexible organization, preferred division, speed, victory or death for mass charges. I don't think like we have, oh, we got good manpower though. Oh man. Oops. Okay, we got speed demons then. Got it. I actually wasn't meaning to click on that. Oops. At the moment, when it comes to... Let's see in here. My L6. I was waiting on radio for the L6. 37 to come out. And I think it's looking okay. Is it a good tank? No. Is it uh, gonna <laughs> serve our purposes? Yeah, it'll serve our purposes. I kind of want to keep building L3s. But in a reduced form. Until then, I... Oh, not the Fiats. I don't want the Fiats. I kind of want to keep building L3s as an infantry support vessel. Or something like... Uh, 
Oh, I, I, I don't even have those. Oops. I was going to get recon tanks, but I don't even have recon tanks. Oh, no. I'm thinking maybe... I kind of want some better, like, coastal divisions for these two ports. Because I'm not going to have... Or to defend against the border while we're doing other things. You Division Automobile, I kind of want to make you better. Like a full division. Because your defense is way up, your breakthrough is way up. Hmm. Breakthrough is low. I want attacking divisions. Alpine, you have decent breakthrough, but not the greatest. You could have support anti-air. Mm. I want... What do I want to do in here? I kind of want to do... I kind of want to go through this tree for a while, but I also want to go through and get, I think, here. Three times 50% bonus on support equipment. I really would like that because I would like to start really getting into support equipment. I also need defense contracts. I need support auto industry. I need research. I need everything all at once, all the time. So I think I'll spread it out like one... Like every different, every subsequent, uh, what's the word? Focus. I'll switch what tree it is so I can get more coverage. I won't go down any tree in particular. This was my, eh, this was Air Force. Air Force is basically going to be created very soon because I, I haven't used my Air Force much. I could use some reconnaissance to start planning out our intact plans. Over here, I could use some more mountain troops for here. <laughs> Chile-Argentinian War. Interesting. Because Chile is another national populist brother. And they're up against syndicalists. We don't like syndicalists. Hmm. Although I have no idea if their form of national populism is actually the same as ours. I could send up to one division. Let's see, I could send uh, maybe the second. You fought in... No, wait. You fought in the Italian-Austrian War because you took the airfields in Bergen, I guess. But you could use some more. I would send an Arditi. I got the third. Your history. You seize Gorizia and Carinthia. You're the one who fought in Romania, and then I sent an infantry division to fight elsewhere. I'm thinking maybe we send the weakest of the Alpini divisions, the second Alpini, with an Alpine specialist or with a non-combat penalty. War hero commander and a guerrilla fighter. I do like the guerrilla fighter trait on him. I'll send him again to Argentina this time. Send volunteers, Domenico, Mondelli, air volunteers, go. Now as for the air volunteers, I don't think, yeah, I don't think that they'll actually send us the ability to send them any. That's okay. In here, I could really use some more excavation. Always need that excavation. Hungary's holding out really well. I was not expecting them to push back. Uh, these provinces here, I guess they've consolidated. They probably... They allowed Transylvania to fall. They allowed the Nats to fall. And they, they're holding out inside of the inside the basin. I'm surprised. Missing equipment is for TAC bombers. Interesting. Right. I should probably start building some. So you were anti-air. That might be necessary, but... Not really for the war unification. I could use some of these. I could use some of these. And then we need like five for each of these. I need like three there. I need like five of those, five of those, five of those. We need so many factories before we can really consider ourselves a good power. I'll also allow myself to build up forces down here. Where do I think is the best area to fight? Maybe in the mountains over here on this side? It's at least close to a support base. 
Pronto, signore. Go ahead and land a take a train up to Mendoza. We'll find some good fighting signore. over here. How do we stack up here? Against their troops, we're actually pretty... Pretty much the same as theirs. Oh wait, they're bringing whole divisions. They're bringing tank divisions. We can pierce. 100%. We can deal with 8% of the damage for their armor division. Okay. We only need to deal 80% damage. Fall back. Paraguay has declared their war. Italian liberation is done. But I said that I'd move somewhere else. How about to get some policy? Emilio de Bono is our prime minister. It would make sense to use his policy. Let's get that. I don't want to be outflanked here. Oh, wait. Maybe we can get some support from the Germans coming in. Gotta go this way. Gotta take around them. Oh, there's Italians. There's those sneaky, sneaky Italians. Tanks fighting in the mountains are still too strong for me. Interesting. Low supply. Terrain penalty. They got some strong divisions. They have some strong, strong divisions. Let's allow them to run away. Oh, hey. I wanted to take over Mendoza while they were running, but I guess I'm running. Niger just capitulated. Something happened. They broke through the defenses in the south. Buenos Aires might be under threat. Very little that I can do about that. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Well, yeah, this is my infantry tab. Um, I could really use some recon. Really use some recon. Information of the Moscow Accord. Against infantry, we do pretty well. Especially this heartened infantry. Ones that have just arrived in Mendoza. But that through the whole line. They're, oh, wow, they actually cut some off. Oops. Maybe we can fight them in the mountains. Yeah, against their weak divisions, we do pretty well. Against that French tank division, we were just getting killed. Uh, we cannot take Santiago. Okay, now I can take Santiago. The fall of Santiago. Well, at the same time, they're about to take Buenos Aires, so... I don't know if it's a good idea for us to keep our troops there. But uh, we're going to cut this video here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.